Hey YouTube, KSK Bushcrafter here with a video for you guys today. I'm going to be showing you guys how to put maps onto the Etrex 10. Now anyone that has this unit or knows of this unit knows that it comes with a very basic map that pretty much just shows you the continents and the oceans. Um, so what we have here is actually a kind of a bite-sized map of a specific lake that I enjoy. Um, you can see that it has some of the details. You have roads, so there's your main roads here. You know, then you got trails coming off. You have your streams, your lakes. It shows you marshes. Um, it doesn't really have any topographical information. You can see you zoom in, and there's really no topographical information. Now, there may be a way to get topographical information it, uh, on it, but as far as a map that wouldn't even have any form of landmarks visible on it, this is a pretty good way to kind of know uh, roughly where you are other than just your little arrow and maybe some uh, preset um, pins on your map. So this is just a, a way to get some bearings onto your onto your compass, not to get a full topo layout. Anyway, let's show you how I did this. All right, so let's get right into how do you do this? Well, um, first thing you're gonna need to do is you're going to need to go to BB Bikes Extract. So the website is up here. I will link it in the description, but it is HTTPS um, <coughs> slash slash extract dot BB Bike dot org. So you're going to go ahead, you're going to go to this right, website. So once you're on this website, just go ahead into the format options. Now you're going to see all these options, all these different formats that you can play with. Um, but you don't really know what's going to work best for you until you try it. I would obviously stick with the Garmin options. There's all these other ones. But stick with the Garmin options and you should be safe. Now I've experimented with the Open Topo Map Latin 1 and then open topo map utf8 and then the osm utf8 for garmin uh all of those work um but i think that you get the most detail from using the open topo map latin one as far as you know roads um and uh landmarks and marshes and all sorts you'll just get more data uh visible on your gps so, now you're going to want to find wherever the place is that you want to um, uh, map. So let's say that we want to do something around uh, the St. Lawrence. Let's pick Oak Island. I think there's a curse there or something. There's a TV show about it. I don't think it's that one. I think the... Anyway. So we're going to go ahead. We're going to pick this region here. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to call this uh, Oak Island. You're going to want to name it. That's going to help you find it later. Then you're going to want to click where it says click here. And it's going to create this nice big rectangle. Now you can increase the size. You can make it smaller. You can do whatever you like. But the most important thing to do is to look at this number. Now you can see here it says 2 megabytes. That's probably too much. You really only have about 2 megabytes on your Garmin e 10. So when you pick... Your map size, I would keep it under 1.5 uh, just to make sure that you have lots of room left over for any of your routes or any of your um, saved points and all that sorts of stuff. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to go with that size. If you wanted to mess around with the other setting here, you can go ahead and add polygon or triangles uh, or sorry, make it into a polygon so you could, you know, really mess around if you want to. But, uh, you know, for the sake of this, we're just going to leave it like that. So we're going to go ahead now. We're going to go ahead and hit extract. Now, once we've hit extract, uh, you're going to get this page. Um, and I also want to mention you do have to include your email. Uh, when it says email over there, you, you got to include it. Um, I've never had a problem offering my email up. I mean, I do use a junk email for this process, but um, just keep that in mind. Now you can either wait for your extract to be available on the extracts page, so you can see here um, that mine's next in line. But 
it usually takes around one, uh, two, two to seven minutes is what it says. I find it takes around five minutes, uh, but you can go ahead and just wait about five minutes and then just keep rate rechecking, rechecking that service status page, or you can open up your email and um, uh, once you have your email open, you can just wait for the link to show up there and it'll have a little bubble you just or a little link you just press it and it'll automatically download so i feel like if i refresh this it should be ready mm, not quite anyway, i'll get back to you guys when it's ready all right so you've refreshed your page a few times and your download is ready you're going to go ahead and click download. Just, you can use the name you named it to find it. Now, once you have that downloaded, you're going to go into your downloads folder. And you're going to need to use a, a software called WinRAR um, to basically open this. I'll include a link to the software. It is free to use, although it's not a free software. Uh, but you can pretty much use it forever on the free trial. It will tell you after 30 days, hey, your trial's up, pay for it. But they don't hide their software behind a paywall so you can go ahead and open it so I'm gonna go into extract files I'm just gonna put it on my desktop and move this over we're done with the internet for now so well for this video so we're done with the internet now you're just gonna go into your desktop here you have your folder and you're gonna see this file this is gmap sup so this file you're gonna want to go ahead and rename it to gmap bmap this is important you got to do this so gmap bmap if you don't do this this is actually your your map this is actually what you're gonna be putting on your device uh, and it has to be a disk image file in order for your device to be able to um, show it on the interface of your screen right, so once you have that renamed um, you might want to take this, let's say you're, you're planning on going back to this lake and you like this process, so you want to be able to save these. I would recommend saving these into separate folders, you know, so maybe you create a folder and you call it a uh, new folder and you call it something like Oak Island Etrex 10 map, you know. And so each time that you have... Um, each time that you have a new uh, map, you're going to name it the same thing. You're always going to name it a GMAP, BMAP, uh, but you might want to be able to remember which GMAP, BMAP it is and not end up with a bunch of uh, GMAP, BMAP 1, GMAP, BMAP 2, and you know so on and so forth. So anyways, now you have this perfect. You're doing good. All right, next, we're going to go into our Garmin device. In our Garmin device, you're going to notice, hey, look at that. There's a file with the same name, GMAP BMAP. You're going to take this file, and you are going to cut it. You don't need it in there anymore for now. And we're just going to paste it into onto our desktop for now. But you're going to want to basically save this somewhere. This is your Garmin map base map. So this is the map of like all the continents that you see when you have the base map or just the Etrex 10. It's the only map you ever really see until you learn how to do this process. So GMAP BMAP. Now, go and grab the Oak Island one or whatever area you decided to do. Copy it. Go into your Garmin device and now you're going to paste it. Now make sure when you're deleting disk image files that you're only deleting the GMAP BMAP. I don't know what happens if you delete GMAP TZ or any of the other files here. Um, I don't know what's going to happen to you or your, or your device if you do that. So just make sure you're only deleting the GMAP BMAP and then putting back on this the new map you like with the same name. Alright, so now you have your GMAP BMAP on your Garmin device. You can go ahead and eject that device and now I will catch you on the camera to show you what that looks like on your device. Well, now, now we are back at your device so you're gonna want to probably check to see if it actually works. So I'll go ahead and zoom out until you see some sort of sometimes it's like just a little bit of pixelation sometimes if you're really going far you might have to zoom out to the 500 mile and just try to find it but it will end up looking like a little pixelation 
All right, so once you've found wherever your map is, you're going to want to go ahead and locate it. All right, so now you can see here that we're able to look at our map. We can see different landmarks. We can see um, that it actually will show you uh, the names of these little spots. It'll show you, you know, a trail here. It'll show you a forest. It tells you it's a mixed forest. So it shows you all sorts of details um, that you otherwise would not get. Now you're not going to be getting any topographical lines, uh, but that's okay. You don't really like you do need those, but you should have a paper map anyway. But this just allows you to find a better reference point uh, quicker when out camping or doing whatever you do so anyway there you have it that's how you put a map onto your Garmin eTrex 10 if you guys enjoyed this video or found it uh, useful leave a like maybe subscribe if you like the rest of my content on my channel I do a lot of outdoor stuff and uh, anyway take care guys until next time be safe and have fun